Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I'd like to show something that I've been making over the past couple of days and it's uh, this wonderful seven segment display. It's quite large and it looks pretty amazing and it's pretty easy to build and I saw how to make this on Fran Blanche's channel. Um, I'm a big fan of hers. And she basically got into this and uh, made the design. And I really liked it. I was really amazed how simple this was and uh, how easy these are to make. And let's have a look at them. So first I'll turn the light on. This is going to swamp out. Sorry about that. Here we go. So let's turn this off. So basically this here is a block with a number of LEDs. It's 3D printed. It has cutouts in the form of a seven segment display. Uh, it's powered and it's got one data line. And from the inside, it looks like this one here. There is a frame. There are mounts for LEDs. The LEDs illuminate one of the segments. And that's pretty easy to do. And in Fran Blanche's design, um, there was an LED stuck in from the back illuminating each one of the the segments and I thought I wanted to have this a little bit simpler to program so I thought I could use some of these 2812B LED strips which are addressable and they have uh, RGB colors and they can do a very large um, amount of colors. In fact, they're 8 bits for RGB, giving you 24 bits. And uh, I do have quite a number of these uh, in surplus because I ordered these and I received uh, very cheap Chinese copies of the chips, which they, they don't look as good and you can't dim them as far as you would like to. So I thought, yeah, let's give this a try. And I modified the design so you could take one strip and just fold it around the uh, center cube and uh, fold in the strip so you can attach the wires. And so in that way, we end up with a seven segment display with eight addressable LEDs. And um, the pattern is, uh, oops. So we have the seven segment display. And we end up with the eight LEDs in here and um, you will have them addressable so you have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So if we want to light up the lower bar um, we turn on LED number 2 if we want to light up the middle bar, we turn on LEDs 0 and 4. The reason for that is we have two of them and to have it evenly lit in the middle, we just turn on both of them. That's pretty simple. I also did 3D prints for small reflectors that just clip into the bottom. Um, it doesn't work on this one because I bodged the wire here, but let's just clips in here and you can fix them down with a bit of super glue. And the same goes for all the other segments here. And these parts are 
formed so the edges come up so they catch a little bit more light and they just clip into all the other segments here which is kind of fidgety but in the end they just snap in and once you're done with all of them we can fit the cables through one back plate and the back plate just closes it up from behind so we don't have a lot of uh, leakage to the back side and you can already see the white reflectors work very well uh, I experimented with different reflectors which come more to the front of the L LCD uh, LCD of the seven segment display and they make it easier to look at them from uh, from afar or from the side because this kind of blends out so this becomes hard to see because the the back is black but I like this um, version better because it gives it more of a of a depth when you look at it and um, yeah I was going to make another three of these so I can turn them into a clock and I wanted to show how I'm doing that so it's pretty simple we have these strips each of the strips uh, has three connectors on each side and they're daisy chained so you've got the 5 volt plus you have a data in you have ground and at the end we'll just pick up the data out so we can keep on chaining them and the rest doesn't actually matter and um, when we put them into the uh, into the box um, they just fold over the edges and we've got the little recess where we can tuck in the ends and where we can make sure the cables don't touch and that's it that's the whole idea behind this and um, I really like it it's so simple uh, but it's so powerful and it looks really really good And basically that's it. We just made another display like this one. And um, once these are connected up correctly, they look 
Very, very nice. And they also work very good. So, this is how I make my seven segment displays based on the design by Fran Blanche. So this is the finished clock. Uh, it's a few days later now and I took the well I took the chance to get a lot of the software right and um, I spent a lot of time getting all of this to work the way I was anticipating it. And in the end I went for the simple Arduino setup. I invested in an uh, RTC module which was about two dollars a pop and there was a set of five on Amazon for I don't know eight dollars or something so um, it was basically the cost of the battery that's on there because it came with the batteries. Uh, I put a uh, temperature and humidity sensor on there and it's an uh, a DHT 11 it's pretty bad it doesn't really work right but um, it, it got across what I wanted to do um, it looks really nice uh, in fact it looks better on camera than it does in real life but I figure that the whole setup is um, very good for making these things simple and I wonder if, if this would work well outside because um, since all the LEDs are basically protected in the middle even a small accumulation of dirt and grit in there would still um, make, the, um, make the lighting work. So I might actually try that out. Um, I'm basically done with this project now. Um, I really love the idea. Uh, I have to say Fran did an awesome job with coming up with that idea. So uh, that's that's totally cool. Uh, what I will do is I'm going to build another small segment like the one with the colon here. Uh, that is going to come on the back of it and it's going to hold the Arduino, the temperature sensor and the RTC module. Um, but I'm going to take my time with that. I can just hide it behind it for now and it still looks really impressive. I did run into a lot of software issues. Uh, I'm starting to have a gripe with uh, Arduino pre-built libraries because some of them have ancient programming errors that are so annoying. Uh, this DHT module for example um, apparently from time to time it doesn't it, it doesn't answer and the uh, the software library is set up that there's no um, no timeout uh, value that will cause a run out so the the whole Arduino is just going to be stuck so that is really annoying and, and I fixed all of that along the way but it took a lot of time and um, I don't know if it was worth the effort but um, yeah that's it that is the uh, the rear illuminated seven segment display clock um, on the design from uh, Fran Blanche. I like it. Um, it looks really good. Like really, really good. I don't have the, the, the slight slant and the spacing as well as Fran has them. Um, I might put some research into that, but I'm pretty happy with this. And uh, driving these with the um, cheap Neo pixels is actually good enough for having a stop clock that is in the, within the one one tenth of a second and still refresh um, in 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 real time. So that looks really amazing, and it's a full RGB color, and you can do a lot of nice stuff with it. So I'm I'm really happy that I tried this out, and I'm gonna do more with these displays. Um, as always, I'm going to post the software. I'm going to post uh, some documentation of how to get it together. And I'm going to post the 3D models of all the parts for the displays. 
So that's it. Thank you very much for watching, and bye-bye. Hello everybody and welcome back. <laughs> uh.